What's going on, dudes? Welcome back to the vault. It's your boy, MC, MCU titties. I'll actually be doing a review that's not late for once tonight, and the film I will be reviewing is Black Widow. Uh, so let's just jump straight into it. Uh, this one opens with an introduction to a young Natasha Romanoff uh, before her spy family must make a daring escape. Um, really fun cast for this one. Scarlett Johansson returns to reprise the role of Black Widow and you know does a classy job as always. Um, she is joined by the likes of Florence Pugh and Rachel Wise, um, who I am both a big fan of. Um, these three leading ladies are joined by Ray Winston, who plays our terrifying uh, Russian uh, gangster slash villain. Um, the standout for me, though, uh, and certainly my favourite addition to the cast, was David Harbour. Uh, he, he brought a lot of humour to the film, uh, and his Russian accent is very much on point. Um, as is Wise's and Pew's. Um, Pew, for me, uh, had the most accurate accent. Uh, same can't be said for Ray Winston's accent, though. He was just utterly terrible. Um, just kept going between Cockney and, and a really bad Russian accent. But uh, despite that, it was still a great cast. Um, the story for this one takes place around the same time the Sokovia Accords were happening. So post-Age of Ultron. Um as far as origin stories go, Black Widow is interesting and enjoyable enough. It's a strong start to Phase 4, I think. Um, there are some wonderful emotional moments, uh, one in particular from Florence Pugh. Um, and of course, it wouldn't be a Marvel film you know, without its familiar humour, most of which, as I said before, comes from David Harbour um, as the Red Guardian. Uh, Florence Pugh also stretches her comedic uh, muscle, which I liked. Uh, the script does, does feel a little lazy uh, at moments, so there's a convoluted face swap um, narrative that I just felt really, I just felt was really kind of ham-fisted in at the last moment. Um, still quite an enjoyable narrative though, so can't really complain too much. Um, the action is pretty much what you'd expect from a Marvel film, pretty much colour by number sort of action. Um, although the fight sequences are pretty fun and well choreographed, especially the first fight between Natasha and her sister. Um, however, quite disappointing was the CGI, which was noticeably bad in a lot of places. Um, Marvel is usually pretty dominant in terms of decent CGI, so it was rather surprising to see the dip in quality for this film, um, especially seeing as this was the first film in Phase 4. Uh, nothing really else to say about the action. It's it's entertaining enough, uh, I guess. Um, the only thing I, I learned from this was that Florence Pugh is on my crush list for a reason. She is just honestly cute as a button. Um, but there we have it, guys. There's my very quick review uh, for Black Widow. I just wanted to get this uploaded. Um, tonight, I, I saw it earlier tonight, I just wanted to get it uploaded as soon as possible really. So let's jump to the two most important questions. Question number one, does this film belong in the vault? Um, no, that's the wrong one, that's the wrong question, excuse me, must be losing my mind. Um, does this film, would I recommend this film? I don't know, losing my mind. Um, I would, I would recommend this film. Um, it's, it's not a terrible film by any means. And like I said, it is a strong start to Phase 4. Um, and if you are a massive Marvel fan, then you will more than likely enjoy this film. Um, so yeah, I would definitely go i would definitely recommend this film i mean it's also it's also great you know seeing a marvel film back in a cinema you know at a cinema after so long of cinemas being closed and after so long of not hot having a marvel film in a cinema so i would recommend this film definitely question number two does this film belong in the vault got there eventually um as i said already this is a nice start for phase four but without bashing the film too much it's just boring and incredibly self-indulgent i also don't know why hollywood feels the need to ruin great male characters in order to you know build up female characters and make them look better um this film completely ruined red guardian he was nothing more than comic relief and couldn't fight his way out of a paper bag i mean i was really excited in the trailer when i saw him face off against taskmaster and it's literally no longer than a, a five second fight not even that um they also ruined an awesome villain taskmaster was incredibly one note and had none of the threatening presence he you know he has in the comics i won't even get started on the decision to make his make his you know kind of switch him to some brainwashed woman um i don't know why why they did that um i'll definitely give the future films of phase four a chance before writing it off entirely 
But I honestly feel like the MCU peaked with Endgame. Uh, but obviously only time will tell. Uh, but there we have it guys. There's my very quick review for Black Widow. And as always. Um, if you've seen the film and you loved it. Let me know what you loved down in the comments below. If you absolutely hated it. Again let me know what you hated down in the comments below. Um, and as always guys. If you like what I'm doing here. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Your pets, your family. Your friendly neighbourhood. Fucking brainwashed villains. Sorry for being so sniffly. I think I've got the Rona. And until the next one, peace and love, my dudes.